All right, today's, today's topic would be costing systems. It's actually the beginning of the second module in unit two. And um, in this lesson, what we will do is just describe what costing system is all about. And if we have more time at the end, I will introduce job costing system to you. Okay. The lesson, this PowerPoint presentation was prepared and present is being presented by Mr. Sylvan James. All right. What well, first we need to know what is a costing system. A uh, brief definition is a costing system, also called product costing system or service costing system, is a framework used by firms to estimate the cost of their products and services for profitability analysis, inventory valuation, and cost control. Estimating the accurate cost of products is critical for profitable operations. So there you have a, a definition of what the costing system is. Included in it is, is a bit of what it does as well. Three purposes of a costing system. There are actually more than three purposes. I will just give three in this. When you read your textbook on the chapter, you will see more there. First is a knowledge and understanding of their costs allow businesses to price their products and services. So there we have one of the purpose is the pricing of the products and services. It allows the viability of different products and services to be determined. Whether, what that means is whether it is profitable to produce particular goods and services. You have to determine that before you begin to produce them. That is called the, the, the viability. And uh, what you would do is you will uh, assess the cost using your costing system before you even begin to produce or do any service. It enables decision making to take place by providing information concerning products and services. So those are the three main uh, purposes of a, a costing system. An example of a costing system XYZ Limited is a wood furniture factory producing antique chairs. XYZ Limited is a wooden furniture factory producing antique chairs. I do want to see in the material. Uh, that seems to have interfered. Well. Okay. But the last year, XYZ costing system produced the following information raw materials 30,000, direct labor 20,000, factory overheads 10,000. The total cost being $60,000. The business produced 600 shares for the period. 
Okay, so with your question system, you would have gathered all that information. Now, what is the cause of a chair? The cause of a single chair would be the total cost divided by the number of chairs, which is equal to $100 per chair. 60,000 divided by 600 gives you 100. Okay. Now, in calculating the cost of the chair, certain assumptions were made. These assumptions are what makes up the costing system. Okay. What were the main assumptions made in XYZ costing system? Let's see it on the next. Uh, all the chairs cost the same to make. That's one of the assumptions. That's why we divide the six, the total cost by the uh, number of chairs produced and we get that because the assumption there is that all the chairs cost the same to make. In practice, that may not necessarily be so. Okay. All the chairs were identical of the same specifications. That's another assumption. Again, in practice, that may not be so. All the chairs use the same amount of overheads to produce. Okay. That means if you're renting your factory and the depreciation on the machinery and, and things like that, each chair use exactly the same amount okay so now those are just assumptions and those are what make up the costing system that's why you can go and divide the um the total cost by the 600 to get the costing system the um, unit cost Costing systems today. Modern businesses do not face such a simple situation as our example. Mostly it is more difficult and depends on the accuracy of the data produced by the system. For our purposes, we will divide the costing system used today into two types. One, traditional costing systems and to your modern costing system. Okay, now these two divisions is going to be what we will be doing for our key exams. We will not be doing any system that is not examinable. Uh, in practice, there are other systems, many more, and people still devising systems that are tailor-made to their situation. Okay, so the traditional and modern or modern costing system. Traditional costing systems are those used to predict future profits. This method uses direct and indirect costs and expenses in a business. Okay, so the purpose as all costing system is to predict future. But in, in the case of the traditional uh, systems, they are interested in predicting the future profits of the business. And they're using the direct and indirect course behavior that we saw from module one to do the predictions. Examples of that are the job order, process costing, absorption costing, and marginal costing. We will come across those later on in this unit.
this module, sorry. The modern costing systems are those created to address the inaccuracies in the traditional costing system. So the modern system, the reason they are modern is because they were looking to upgrade the traditional systems to eliminate any inaccuracies that they had in them. An example is activity-based costing. There are others, but activity-based costing is the only modern system that we would be looking at. Okay, so that's the end of that slide there. Do not um, 